Hey everyone, welcome to Tour Validated. My name is DJ Lance, joined by the short game chef Parker McLaughlin. We had him on an episode not too long ago. We had a blast doing it, talking about the flight lines on his wedges. But today we're gonna to talk something a little bit different. We're gonna talk bounces, but not only bounces, we're gonna look into some different grind options. Now for me, like many, I think, I ended up in a grind that just was handed to me and that's what I got used to. And I found through the testing that we did in the video with you, that it wasn't necessarily the right grind for me. I, I found that there was a lot more opportunity to hit a good shot with not the greatest swing with the right bounce. So there's a lot of variables that go into it. The chef has some ideas, so here we go. Hey, we see you watching these videos. Make sure you're subscribing and liking them. It's a lot more fun to do it with you. So one of the cool things I like to do with some of my clients, uh, professional all the way down to amateur, is do a blind grind testing. I've got six wedges here. I'm gonna give it to DJ blind. He's gonna hit, try to make the same swing from 50 yards. And I'm gonna see if he can feel the difference in the sole and in the bounce. This is gonna be a fun episode, Deej, because I think there's gonna be some things where you might think, oh, I'm gonna love this grind, and then it turns out you love something completely different. Yeah, I mean, that's very similar to what happened in the episode we shot prior. I found out that there was something available that I didn't play before and would have never gravitated towards had I not had the opportunity to hit it. So, yeah, I'm excited to do this. I don't know what these grinds are. These are all his wedges. He's got them hidden away from me right now. So we're gonna see what happens with these wedges, and uh, hopefully by the end of this, I know what grind I should be in. Let's go, let's see if we can get you in the right grind with more spin and better versatility. All right, so we got two wedges. We're gonna do a little testing with DJ. A low bounce and a higher bounce one. He's not gonna know which one is which. We're gonna see if he can get some different results. Interested to see what happens here. All right, DJ, you ready? Here we go. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Here we go. We're diving into the belly of the beast, right? Yeah. You're gonna have to make a, a half of a swing here with a 60 degree. And I just want you to make the same swing, uh, let's say 12 different times. We've got six wedges, two balls with each, make the same swing. We'll see what the results are with the foresight and we'll see what the flight is uh, with our eyes. Right, all right, well, here we go. No pressure, first one, 50 yards, here we go. Oh boy. That was a lot of turf there, buddy. That was a lot of turf for the first swing. Okay, let's, okay. Go, let's go one more. Holy smokes. All right, contact wasn't great, obviously. Little steep, little left, not ideal. A Little better, but still we got some turf. A Little better, a lot of turf. All right, so I'll give you that one. Let's try two more with this one. All right. A Little different interaction for sure. You could feel that one kind of Thumb through spin, it, I think. Spin up by 800 RPMs right there. Okay. 6,200 up to 7,000. That's a lot. That is a lot of spin. Still a good flight, don't you think? I mean, yeah. look at that ball spinning too. 7,500. I mean, that's definitely ripping. I can get the cover. Yeah. Um, it's showing up on the face. So it's ripping for sure. So let's take a look. So first one was a low bounce, four degrees of bounce, which is kind of what you were in before, yes. and you would always complain to me that you were sticky and steep and, and it yeah. felt really slow in the turf. Yeah. Now we give you a bigger sole, mm -hmm. more bounce. This one has 10 degrees of bounce, yep. and all of a sudden your spin rates went way up. Yep. Ball flight actually came down, yep. and your turf interaction was significantly less. 100%, yeah, I felt that it wasn't digging as much like you said, but even those shots, like I only hit two, neither of them were like perfect. We still had high spin. We still had great results from 50 yards, much better than I would typically expect. And again, I'm in that grind that I'm in now, not because I got fit into it, but because the pro at the shop that I grew up playing at gave me a low bounce club back in the day, and I just felt like that was the one for me. And anytime I hit a bad shot, I just figured it was operator error. So I'm learning that this bounce here is your friend. You gotta find the one that's right for you. So two shots in, I already know I'm in the wrong bounce. We got a long way to go. All right, we got two more here for DJ to hit. Um... I'm not even gonna say what they are, but I'm gonna mix them around and I'm gonna give it to him blindly so that he can take a couple swings. Again, both 60 degree wedges. Okay. Don't try to cheat, don't try to feel it, come on. All right, let's see this. All right. Pretty nice contact there, buddy. That was, that felt good. 7,500 RPM, beautiful. Nice flight, good trajectory. Yep. That ball had a ton of spin on it. Yeah, that felt good. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Little thin. <laughs> maybe a little more. Uh, little maybe thin. a little bit more Indian than arrow uh, error on that one. Yeah, that was definitely uh, operator error. Again, this is a yardage that is very uncomfortable for me. I'd love to say I'm confident from this number, but a lot of times, like I was saying to Parker before, I can hit a six iron closer from this <laughs> than I can from 50 yards. So, you know, this is a big. Ooh, this one looks nice. This one caught my attention. That looks, it's just the finish alone. We got Brand the, new, right out of the package. Oh, let's make sure I this do is the, a good This job. is the first shot with this club. Oh no. Let's do it. Okay, that one what came did, out a little higher, but really low RPMs. 4,700 RPMs on that one. Which is crazy. I mean, this is the newest out of all the ones yep. I've hit. Yep. Get let's, see, let's see if you can get one more. Yeah, I gotta hit that, I think, a little cleaner. That's that's on me. What a difference in height. I'm trying Crazy. to be as consistent with my setup too. I'm trying to expose the bounce a little bit from a distance like this, trying to give myself the most opportunity to hit a good shot. That one that one's down at three thousand RPMs. So forty five hundred RPM difference in spin. Yeah. You could just see the launch higher, yep. rolled out a lot more. So the first one he hit was the 08M. Okay. Uh, so eight degrees of bounce. Yep. A uh, little bit wider sole than that four, but it's got some some trail edge uh, relief, some heel relief as well. Mm -hmm. um, this one you hit really well. This other one here is a K grind, six degrees of bounce, so less bounce, um, and obviously that showed up with what happened. Yeah. So we got to get you in something with a little bit more bounce. Your swing likes that more bounce. Yeah. So. Uh, we're, we're getting onto some things here. We're getting closer. We're definitely getting closer. I always thought I was a low bounce player. You see the pros playing low bounces. Um, Jordan Spieth is like a four degree of bounce type of guy, but I found the closer to low bounce you get, the better it looks to me on the tighter turf conditions, but you have zero room for error. So you could hit that shot that goes two feet, then you start hitting them thin, and then it gets in your head and it turns into this whole ordeal. So as someone who's playing golf, a couple of times a week if I'm lucky, I do need that help with the bounce. So this is extremely interesting. Yeah, I think what, what you said there was really important. As you lay that face open with a low bounce club, it's gonna look really sexy and it's gonna lay flat to the turf. Right. Now, although it looks sexy, it is really difficult to execute that, right? right? A T grind and L grind, those are for the master wedge players, the really shallow attack angle guys. Right. So. Get yourself in an eight, a 10, or a 12, all of a sudden you got room for error. It right. may not look as sexy, but I promise you, you'll get shots that are gonna have more spin and that will perform better for you. So let's go to the final two. Okay. Okay. We're going to the extreme here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna mix these up. Hard I to tell look. with the rust, but. I wanna look. Here we go. Okay. Okay, okay. No practice swings, right? We're just gonna no go. No practice swings. We're just gonna go. All right, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy. That maybe thing's a, ripping. Maybe a groove thin, but boy, 7,300 RPMs. What okay. a difference. Some of that attack angle ta uh, talk is getting in my head. Yep. I'm starting to think maybe I need to shallow it out a little. I just gotta make the same swing though. I've always told you to be shallow. I know. Oh boy, there, there's. That was the steep one. That's the steep one. Look, I rolls out, I'm getting away with it, but that's not good contact, not one that's repeatable. Yeah, so the difference, 7,300 on the first one, uh, this last one, 3,700. Now, I would say that that's more operator error, as you said earlier, yeah. because you were definitely more steep on the second one. You can see the ball contact off the toe and high. Yep. Coming in steep, path is a little bit to the left. Right. Um, so on this next one, I'm not gonna show you it, okay. but let's go with this next one. And this should be very interesting to see, to see your feels, okay. to see if this is potentially less sticky through the turf. Okay, yeah, that last one definitely was the most sticky I felt. That one kind of glided through a little bit more. 4,400 on the spin. Yep. Yeah, I mean that's obviously a little higher launching, but so not your not your not your best right, right. there. But I would say your, the results with that one for you, where the ball actually ended up, the spin and the flight, way better, yeah. way more consistent. And now look at this one. This is a 14 degrees of bounce K grind, right? Yeah. So we've had you in a six degree, a 10 degree, and a 14 degree of K grind. Yep. 
You performed great with the 10 and the 14. Yeah, those felt the best to me. What was this? This is a T grind, which is essentially the tour player grind, uh, which is essentially four degrees of bounce. Doesn't say it on the club, but it's it's about four degrees of bounce. Yep. Very low bounce, very little margin for error. Very sticky. Very sticky for a player like you that gets a little steep. Yeah. Like you're one of those players, create a ton of speed with your driver, yeah. but sometimes that can hurt you with your short game. Right. You gotta be able to shallow it out. Yep. Uh, and so this T grind is not your friend around the greens for no. you, especially from 10 to 60 yards. Mm -hmm. Full swing, it would probably be okay. You wouldn't right. notice a ton of difference, but the in-between yardages, which is what everybody struggles with, we saw this this 14 degree, you're way better off in a 14 degree bounce than you are a, a four degree bounce. So if you haven't figured it out yet, bounce is your friend. It's alleviated a lot of stress right now from 50 yards for me. The ones that did give me stress were the low bounce. They're the ones that look the best to me, but I'm learning very quickly. Sexy is hitting it close. Sexy isn't what it looks like in your bag. Yeah, I think that's I think that's that's why you gotta go get get fit, right? Go find a fitter in your area. Uh, try six or seven different grinds with different bounces. It's mind blowing because you know DJ was under the impression, boy, this looks really good. All of a sudden, he's sticking it in the ground, right. not performing well. Right. So go find a fitter that's that's near you. Try a bunch of different grinds on real turf. Um, I think it's I think it's really really important to dial in which grind is right for you because not every grind, the grind that he uses, not the same for me. Mm -hmm. The grind that he uses, not the same for you know, Jordan Spieth, right? So go find go find a, a place where you can get fit, try these out with real grass, with real rough and real sand. That's gonna be really important to, to be able to understand how these things work through the turf. Yeah, I mean, it's been super interesting just to hit 12 different shots and learn so much. So if you have a half hour, an hour, definitely like you're saying, hit off some turf, the conditions that you play in, whether it be in the Northeast or where we are in the Southwest where it gets a little more firm, Definitely want to learn and have a wedge that travels well with you. You see the tour players changing wedges in different turf conditions. The Open is a different wedge than the Masters and vice versa. They play all around with that stuff. So, so important to know your wedges and have someone that understands them. Make sure you get the right one in your hands. And as always, thanks for tuning in to Tour Validate. Make sure to subscribe, like the video. Big shout out to Parker for coming out and blowing my mind here. Now I got to figure out how to get these wedges in my hand. But uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in.